Hi there! Our video this time is about simple and continuous verb forms, what we call in linguistics verb aspect. These two verb aspects, therefore, apply not only for the future tense, but also subjunctive and imperative. We'll be starting with the future tense. We have three different examples here. Θα φάω μία σαλάτα για βραδινό, γιατί έφαγα πολύ το μεσημέρι. Θα τρώω μία σαλάτα κάθε βράδυ για να χάσω κιλά. And μην μου τηλεφωνήσεις στις 2 η ώρα, γιατί θα τρώω. In the example alpha, we are using the simple form θα φάω, because eating will happen once. Tonight, at the dinner. In the example Vita, we are using the continuous form. Patro, because eating will happen several times, every evening. Whereas in the third example, we are using the continuous form once again, Patro, because eating will be in process at a particular time, 2 o'clock. To summarize, the simple future is used for an action that will happen once at one given time in the future, while the continuous future is used either for a repetitive or an ongoing action in the future. We pass on to subjunctive. We have two different examples over here. Όταν είδα το καινούριο ζεχαροπλαστή, σταμάτησα να φάω ένα γλυκό. Σταμάτησα να τρώω γλυκά, γιατί μου το απαγόρευσε ο γιατρός. In the first example, we are using the simple subjunctive form, να φάω because eating happens once, at one particular time, when I saw the pastry shop. Whereas in the second example, we are using the continuous subjunctive form, να τρώω, because eating will, not in this case, be happening from now on. I gave up sweets. We use the simple subjunctive therefore for actions happening once at one given time and the continuous for repetitive or ongoing actions. And now it's time for the imperative. We have two different examples here. Φάε λίγο αρνάκι, Πάσχα έχουμε σήμερα and τρώγε κρέας μαζί με χόρτα για να δουλεύει καλύτερα ο μεταβολισμός σου. In the example alpha, we are using the simple imperative form because eating refers to one particular time, today. While in the second example, we are using the continuous imperative form because eating is a piece of advice that refers to always. To conclude, simple imperative is used for a command or a suggestion concerning one given time, whereas continuous imperative is used for commands or suggestions referring to always or repetitive actions. Ultimately, simple future, simple subjunctive and simple imperative, in our case θαφάω, ναφάω and φάω, are used for actions happening once. And continuous future, continuous subjunctive and continuous imperative, in this presentation, Θα τρώω, να τρώω, εντρώγε, 
are used for ongoing actions. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope this video has met its cause, that is, helping you tell when to use the simple and when to use the continuous form of the verb. Remember that practice makes perfect. Your comments and feedback are most welcome, so do not hesitate to leave a line underneath and visit mygreekseminars.com website for more Greek learning tips and information. Yes, yes.